It's uh, 8.36. What does your child's school timetable look like today? Is the maths at 9, perhaps a little bit of uh, geography at 10 o'clock? Are they growing tomatoes at 11? Mm, unlikely. Gardening is one of the subjects being considered, though, as part of the revised national curriculum. Is it something that can be taught formally? And what sort of skills would children learn? One school which has green-fingered pupils is Norris Bank Primary School in Stockport. And Jenny Hill is there for us this morning. Jenny, good morning. What are they growing there? Well, I can tell you they're growing all sorts. We'll tell you more in just a moment, but let me introduce you to these two little gardeners. What have you got there? Um, spring onions. And what do you like about spring onions? Um, whilst they're growing, you can take a bit off them and try them. Now, that's my kind of plant. Thank you. We'll leave you to your growing. There you go. They grow all sorts here. Plants, vegetables, flowers. And just look at this lot here. Now then, what have we got here? Um, thyme. Chive. Rosemary. Mint. There you go, all sorts of variety. In fact, I'm told that these herbs get sent to a nearby butcher's where they help go into sausages. Let me inter introduce you to the deputy head teacher here and also the uh, Royal Horticultural Society's coordinator for gardening in schools. We're hearing, good morning to you both, we're good hearing, morning. first of all, Tabitha, that gardening may end up being on the national curriculum. Yes. Should it be there? Ideally, not as a discrete subject, but if it means that schools do actually get a school garden, get children learning outside, then yes. And Mandy, let me bring you in here. Isn't this the kind of work that ought to be being done at home? Shouldn't parents be teaching their children to garden, leaving schools to teach them English, maths and science? In an ideal world, absolutely. But, you know, we're all busy. I've got four kids and a full-time job, and it's, it's hard to coordinate that sort of thing. Um, so having said that, if schools are gardening, it's actually a wonderful way to involve parents in the school life and get children talking to their parents where they might not ordinarily do that anyway. So it's, you know, with the local community, the parental involvement, it's a very rich thing um, that covers that side of things. If you, you know, we're all busy. We, we, we do struggle to do that sort of thing at home. So. OK, thank you both for joining us this morning. Just time, I think, to come and meet this little group of gardeners down here. Morning to you all. Morning. What's Morning. your name? Joe. And you're doing some digging there? Yeah. What do you most like about gardening, Joe? You get... Uh, it's quite fun because it, it looks all really nice. I see. And what about... Can I come over to you? What's your name? Torben. And what do you like most about gardening? Um, it's just nice that I'm being in your classroom just doing normal literacy work. Well, there you go. You heard it first here. Thank you so much for joining us, you lot. Uh, well, there we are. So, uh, it's a controversial subject. Should it be on the national curriculum or not? I tell you what, from the youngsters here, I think it's a resounding yes. Back to you. All right, thanks very much, Jenny. Going to talk more about this now. Sean Gilligan is here. He's the founder and managing director of an online learning business. And we are joined from his own back garden in London, Blue Peter's resident gardener, Chris Collins. Um, very good morning to you. Um, Chris, is this something that should actually be taught in schools as part of a curriculum? I mean, it's, an, it's, a, it's a lovely idea, but do you think it's practical? Well, I think it is. I mean, many schools, I've watched the whole subject grow over many years. And I think it's very important for them to do it. Because if you think about it, there's, there's so many life skills involved in it. For instance, you've got some maths if you measure, you've got some art. If you do a little design, you've also got all the sciences. I think importantly also is you've got physical exercise and also it teaches them teamwork, which you could argue is one of the most important skills you can have. Mm. Mm. Sean, you're not convinced necessarily that we should be teaching people how to grow carrots in the in their school? Um. Being an entrepreneur and organically growing my business web anywhere from the age of 25 now to 140 uh, staff, I think there's some aspects of what these guys are doing that, that is great. What I'd like to see is gardening combined with entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial education. Well, so grow your carrots and then market them? Well, things like soft skills, emotional intelligence, communication, leadership, these sorts of skills are so important in business. And often at interview stage, kids don't really know what they're doing. And so if we can combine the, the, the soft skills, that's fantastic. Also, kids need to get out of the classroom and uh, their learning environment affects their engagement. And engagement in education is so, so important to have that energy and, and that passion for the kids learning. Chris, well, um, I can imagine that some schools think, well, there's so many things competing to be taught by teachers that, that although you're learning lots of things through gardening, perhaps it is something that should be done, I don't know, as an after school club um, or something that's done at home rather than taking up time that should be used for numeracy and literacy, for instance. 
Well, I'm sure people will argue that, and that's a, you know, it's a fair enough point of view, I reckon. But I think that intellect comes in different guises. So a kid that sits in the classroom and learns maths might be good at that academically, but another kid might not be. And I think what Garden intends to do is it brings out those, that different type of learning. So it's practical application for learning, and some kids really benefit from that. So you need to spread, you need to give mm. options, basically. Mm. I mean, John, we're living in an age now where you know, some children don't even know where milk comes from. So they need to get their fingers dirty, so to speak, to understand the connection between, the fundamental connection between us and the soil and where we get our food from. Yes, and I think combining these gardening businesses so that kids have to rent a patch of soil, they've got to pay for seeds, and then they've got to produce products and, and, and turn a profit, uh, and then combining and integrating the curriculum, the maths, the science, as soon as you, the as soon as you introduce the, the idea of the commerce into, into the equation, you're just, in a sense, you're just destroying the fundamental freedom of the idea in the first place, aren't you? It's employability. Employability is so important, Bill. Even in and primary school? It, it absolutely. The entrepreneurial mindset is absolutely critical. We've got to go away from the 9 to 5 entitlement attitude in this country to the entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. If uh, people can create 140 jobs like I have done, self-funded and organically grown a little bit like this garden, then um, this country will be out of recession Chris, and the green shoots will be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chris, presumably you just love the idea of, of the kids, you know, burying their hands in the soil and and producing something extraordinary, you know, and, that, and the way that makes them feel. Well, I, you know, I'm in schools all the time, and, uh, and in nine years of doing it, and this is a powerful statement, but it's a true one, I've never had a kid who's not enjoyed it, and mm. I think that we're all gardeners at heart, and if you think about it, how did we eat for the like, thousands and thousands of years? We ate because we farmed and we gardened, and so that way I think you've got to see it as an essential skill, but ultimately, ultimately, it's just really good fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Chris, thanks very much indeed. Chris Collins, Sean Gilligan, thanks Sean, very much. Sean, apart from <laughs> growing your own business organically, as you told us, <laughs> when was the last time you grew something in the garden? Um, my father-in-law did that at the weekend. I'm not an avid gardener, but, um, yeah. You need to get out there. Maybe I need to get some practice in. Yeah. All right, Sean, Thank thanks you, Bill. Very much. Thank you.